there is a very special theme in today's first reading. The sorrow and anguish of Paul. Why is Paul so distressed and upset and deeply sad? When the people we care about do not share our faith, it can be upsetting. Paul is so upset because as a Jew, he knows his fellow Jewish brothers and sisters do not share his faith in Jesus. Jesus came as the Messiah, the long-awaited Messiah, the prayer to the answer to all their prayers for centuries. But when he came, the people would not accept him or even recognize him. As one who experienced Jesus, Paul is very upset. Paul is so sure because he met the Lord face to face and Paul knows he is the Messiah. I have seen him, I know him, I love him, but my brothers and sisters do not accept the truth. If you are a parent and your children do not share your faith, you can understand this. It may upset you, it may trouble you, to think your children have failed to catch something of the faith you, ex you have experienced. But here we find Paul <clears throat> leaving the whole matter to the wisdom of God. If anyone of the parents who hear or watching online if you're upset about your children, worry about your children because they have lost faith or they don't share your faith, learn from St. Paul. He leaves the whole matter to the Lord who loves them all more than he does. That's a big point, great point. You think you would love your children? Who are your children? You are only somebody in between. You are not really their parents. You are only an instrument in between. Don't they call the responsibility. Please don't talk all, all the rest as if you were, their life depends entirely on you. No, who are you? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Don't play God. God loves them before you loved them. God knew them before you received them as a gift from God. And God still loves them more than you ever can. Let that truth go into your mind. God loves them more than you can ever can. Because their life their future, everything is God's concern. So they, the Lord, continue to continue to relate with them in His own way. They may not be coming to mass. They may not be saying the praise. But who knows how God is working in their life beyond your eyes? Faith is a very personal matter. I would say even this way, it may upset you. It, doesn't, it hasn't got anything to do with going to mass or to any church or belonging to any de denomination even. It may upset you for here to this, hear this word from me. But that is the truth. Faith has nothing to do. These things may help you. Being in the church, listen to the word of God. This will enrich you and nourish you, but faith is ultimately a personal experience. A person who has no faith may have such a deep faith in God in his own, her own way. 
I'll never forget. This will be a good example for you. In India, years ago, when I was in a parish, around 30 or 40 years ago, one day a Hindu, not a Christian, a Hindu, came to my parish church. And I happened to walk into the church when this Hindu was standing in the sanctuary. I couldn't believe a Hindu, a non-Christian, standing in the sanctuary with her eye, with her hands raised to God to the cross. And, and saying in Gujarati language, Mara Vala, my beloved. Does any one of you call God my beloved? Do you? I don't. But that's the right word. Here is a non-Christian in a Catholic church looking at the cross and telling God, my beloved. My beloved. A good example about faith and the real faith. This is real faith. God bless you.